Hi, how to do exhaust gases in Blender, both high resolution and uh, low polygon resolution. So we start out uh, by doing the high resolution solution. So we start out by adding an um, emitter for smoke. So let's press Shift A and go to Mesh and Isosphere. Let's scale it down, then go up to Object and we can go down to the quick effects and shows smoke. And now we got the cube and the cube is the frame for the smoke. The smoke cannot go outside this area. So if we start the um, animation, let's change this to 100. You can see that the smoke is going right through the pipe and we don't want that. So let's select the pipe and choose a fluid and let's change this to an effector. And with the surface thickness of one, I think should work. So now every time it goes over, the changes applies. Uh, and if we go to wireframe mode, we can see that the smoke is trapped inside of the pipe. And we want that. But we need to change that so the smoke can move more. So we go to edit mode and let's scale up this domain as it's called. So we, whoops, let's select this way instead. We scale it out like that. And we select these and press G and Z and drag it up and uh, exit edit mode. And now we can see how the smoke is moving. So there are many things you can tweak and adjust for the smoke. Um, and we can change the animation to 150 again. And the easiest way is to make the smoke move faster is to change this the time scale. And we can set this to four. So now we at four the smoke goes much faster so if we try to see how it looks something like this and looks quite right but as i said there is a lot of adjustment you can uh, change here but what we want to do is to change the color of the smoke and this is quite easy you just open up material properties open up volume and if you just go to color you can change the color of the smoke. You can also change the density of the smoke, how thick it should be. And if you want the smoke to move when the car is going away, you can parent the smoke to the car and the, and the smoke will move when the car moves. But another way is to add a force field. So if you press Shift A and we go down to force field and we can, we want to have wind. So if we rotate this wind around Y, so R, Y, uh, 90. So the strength from beginning is 1. So if you check the animation, you can see that it is really strong. So we can drag it down to maybe 0.2. And if you look upon the wind now, we can see it's much more like a breeze. So this is some of the way you can work with uh, gases to make your exhaust gas for your car. Okay, so let's do the low poly exhaust gases. So we start out by adding a plane. So shift A, mesh plane, rotate it around Y, 90 degrees. Let's scale it down, something like that. And we go to the viewport shading mode. From here, we go to particle properties, press the plus sign. And we have an emitter. If we start the animation now by pressing space, we can see all the particles is going down. So let's change that. Let's go down to the field weights and change the gravitation to zero. So now there are no gravitation affecting the particles. So, but I think there are too many. So let's change this to 200. And I think they are dying too fast. So let's change the lifetime to maybe 200. And every time the animation loop starts over, the changes i have made will be applied okay so let's add a curve guide so let's start out by adding a curve so shift a curve and we can choose a path and uh, let's scale it so t tab to edit mode scale in x drag it out and then g x move it here and we can stop the animation and we can go to the physics properties and choose a force field and change the type to curve guide 
and we can actually start the animation again and we can press tab and if we now move these vertices we can see that the particles actually follow the curve something like that but i think this is still going too slow so for to change that we need to select the emitter and now the lifetime is the speed of the particles on the curve so let's set this to 50 and they will move a lot faster and if i think that's too fast so let's change that to 100 and we can also add some randomness to the speed so we can change the lifetime randomness and you can see that some particles are going faster and some slower and this is what we want but i want the gas to spread out in the end so to achieve this we need to select the curve and we go to the force field settings and we want the clumping amount to be changed so if we drag this to one we can see that in the end they are coming together so this is the opposite of what we want so let's change this to minus one something like that but i still think they are too tight in the start so let's edit the curve so we go press tab to enter edit mode select all by pressing a and then we can press alt s and now we can change the spread of the curve so uh, maybe something like this yeah this lo looks much better so let's exit edit mode and let's go to the emitter again and i want the uh, smoke to always be present and not start from the beginning and for this to happen we need the smoke to start before the frame number one so let's change this to minus 50 and now this will work but right now we just have a couple of particles and it this is not the look that i want so we can let's move the 3d cursor by holding shift and press right click over here and press shift a and add a mesh uh, isosphere over here and we can actually change the color right away and make it gray we can change this to a light gray and now if we select the plane the emitter plane and we go to the particle settings and we go down to render so instead as render as a halo we render as an object and the object we want is the isosphere and you see it's the isosphere but just a lot smaller so we can change the scale to our liking and we can also add a scale randomness so some particles are small and some are bigger and i think this looks kind of okay but i want some uh, different colors in my smoke so let's take the eyes as well and press shift d to duplicate it and shift d to duplicate it again so let's select this i swear and we duplicate this gray make it a little bit darker and we take this make another gray and make this even a little bit darker like that and we select these three objects and we can press m to make a collection let's call this smoke and we select our emitter plane again and we go to our particle system and instead of render as an object we can now choose collection and the collection we want to use as a emitter is the smoke so now it works like that and i want more smoke so let's bump up this number to maybe 400 yeah that looks that looks great but i also want some rotation because right now every object is just in the same rotation as it started so to fix this we need to scroll down check rotation 
and randomize the rotation. So let's run the animation to its end. And now you can see the isosphere has gotten different rotation and this is great. But I also want it to rotate while it's flying. And to achieve this, we need to add some angular velocity. So let's bump this up to maybe 10. Right now, nothing happened. But if we press dynamic, they all started to spin. And I think that's look quite cool. So this is how you do a low poly smoke exhaust gas. And if you like stuff like this, please subscribe and uh, give this clip a like. Thanks for watching. Bye.